Hello everybody, Rob from Two Turtles, taking a look at our carrots. Yeah, they come right up. Just a little carrot update and got some different varieties here. So uh, we planted these about uh, two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, and they're all coming up. And uh, I'm going to make some compost tea and I'm going to feed these on a regular basis. And I'll show you that this week coming up. I'm going to make some videos and we'll look all on that topic of compost tea. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at our strawberries. <clears throat> and see, they're doing amazing. They've kind of spread. And I got some sort of plant here. Now this looks an awful lot like broccoli, guys. An awful lot like broccoli. Huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait a minute. It might be. I don't know. I'm going to let those other three go and maybe we got some wild broccoli. Anyway. On to the strawberries, guys. Look at that. Stunning. And there's a patch over there, but... I thought that was lemon balm, but it looks like it's strawberries, man. Another patch coming up here. All right, we're going to take a look at the Shoshansky melon. And I got some surprises there. It's been a while since we planted this one. But if you take a look down here, you can see we have some germination. Uh, now, I'm not having anything. The soil's pretty moist here. And everything looks pretty good. But I'm not seeing any others come up at the moment. But we're going to wait and see. And I might plant some more. I'm going to get another bucket. And I'm going to plant um, far north. It's a different variety. It's just a common variety that was developed in Manitoba, I believe. And it's a short season variety. We're going to go over and take a look at the melons. Watermelons, that is. Well, we can see this little fella here. It looks like he's got a little bit of transplant shock. Nice and warm in here underneath these uh, tubes. I just lifted this one off just to check that one. It seems all right. I mean, transplant shock, you can't help it. Whenever you transplant a watermelon, the damn roots are just so uh, sensitive there. They just don't like to be transplanted. And this is a moon in stars. It's burnt a little bit. Don't really know what happened. But I think it's going to make it. But it's definitely stunted. Another moon in stars, looking a little rough. Good green stem there, a little shrinking of the leaves there, not doing so well there. I still hold out hope. This is a scally bark. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it. it. Seems like it's green, seems like it's holding up. Transplant shock again, we're just gonna see what happens, guys. I mean, what can you do but try, right? Back here in the backyard, a little fence here. Um, put down some wood mulch. This area here is notorious for the most awful weeds that take so long to take care of. It's just a pain in the ass. So I dropped some uh, mulch down here all the way over to our rhubarb. Okay, guys? That. That's a nice variety of rhubarb. That's Amish red, guys. That's what I was told, anyway. It's an old Amish one. That's spectacular, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rhubarb. I'm going to have a harvest relatively soon, I can tell you that. I think uh, at school where I work, we're going to be having a rhubarb strudel next week, and I think I'm going to offer up some of my rhubarb for that strudel. Almost in full bloom, eh? Oh, look at it. Isn't that spectacular, guys? Honey, what do you think of these things? They're beautiful. The squirrels did a good job. They did a wonderful job planting. And the lettuce looks spectacular, too. I'm going to be transplanting that into a lettuce garden eventually. It's red tip romaine and a Michigan strain of some sort. I forget what I put in here. Oh, I got a rogue one over here. Look at that. Rogue. Rogue lettuce. I don't know if I have any other rogue plants. Goji berries. My wife has snipped the top, all the dead branches and stuff like that. Next year, what we're going to do is we're going to take a tomato cage and uh, mulch them a little better, and hopefully we don't lose as much of the plant. These plants will get to be about 10 feet tall. I'm not sure how tall they'll get here in this area. I'm guessing 6 feet. We'll see you this summer. This is my wife's hydrangea, and we honestly thought we lost it this winter. We did do some protecting of it. I put a cap on it. It got blown away in the windstorm. And uh, it died off all up on top. But if you look down at the roots, you'll see some nice green down there. 
it's coming back. These are our lupins. You would expect them to make it through the winter, being they're kind of like a mountain plant. And then, what is that over there, honey? Catnip. Catnip. Or catnip, I guess. And some flowers here, the tulips. tulips. And that. Flocks. Flocks. Creeping time. Woolly time. Woolly time, sorry. It's creeping, you can see it. And. Clematis. Clematis. Look at that. My wife is here, thank goodness. Otherwise, I would never know what a half of this stuff is. And then bergamot, which is kind of mixed in with the uh, dandelions at this point. <laughs> bergamot and dandelions, everybody. And there, every rose has its thorn. And these are violas. These are actually field flowers that have um, come back. Wow, so field flowers, eh? Yeah, it's their subdivision. Uh, because we're in a subdivision, they've been taken out and they've just come back. My viola. <laughs> <laughs> Starting your watermelon early, if you catch some good weather, you're okay. We have not caught some good weather, but I think we're still going to be okay thanks to those frost caps. So, basically, this watermelon is struggling under these caps, but it's hanging in there. So, I'm going to put these caps back on and resecure them with these blocks and stuff, like that, and source our mulch. And we're going to hope to keep these things alive. I think I'm going to have one for sure. Maybe two die. But it's going to take time, guys. You've got to be patient. Well, I do anyway. Okay. All the frost caps have been resecured. Um, we're going to have some wet weather coming up, guys. So torrential downpours. I'm leaving the tops open. Um, I think it's going to stay above zero. Uh, although I think Tuesday, next Tuesday, we're talking about having snow yes snow so we shall see what happens <laughs> <laughs>